recently I told you guys that I, I wanted to get a 2018 or newer Harley Davidson breakout. Um, but I have changed my mind. And I'm going to tell you guys three big reasons why people like me don't buy a Harley Davidson. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. You know, I wish I had my dual sport right now, guys. I found another sweet place to have fun off-road, man, with a dual sport. There's no... Oh, I, I see it now. What does this say? Okay, private property. I couldn't see that before. See, I'd have been a fool and rode up in here <laughs> and then getting a shotgun blast in my butt, man, because I didn't see that sign. They need to clear them branches, man. Oh, baby. Firing up that inline foe. Ah, I just got to make sure to connect my airbag vest. Help keep me safe out here, guys. For those of you guys who want to get this airbag vest to help keep you safe. I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video. I did a full review video on it too. Go check that out as well. And, and to get my other gear and cameras and everything else and camel pants, I always have links to my gear in the description and comment section of my video or my website, cyclecruiser.com. <laughs> uh, but number one reason why people don't buy a Harley Davidson and why I'm probably not gonna buy one is because of price they're just too dang expensive man for what you get especially brand new even used they want top dollar for the used ones with a lot of miles on it man uh you know i i, I was trying to find a deal on a leftover new 2018 uh breakout because you know the new 2018 uh breakout the 114 engine and the 107 they've made some improvements with this new milwaukee they have a new milwaukee engine they put in their bikes and two on their 2018 lineup and it added a lot of real nice torque to the bike and i believe they're a bit more reliable from what i hear but the problem is is that they want they still want a lot of money for the bikes and uh used ones it doesn't matter used or uh you know leftover new they want a lot of money for them, man the cheapest i could find uh used you couldn't find any leftover news you know but used ones with low miles they wanted like 18 19 000 for it. and i'm like i could get a brand new one out the door for twenty one thousand. why would i pay two thousand less and get a used one you know what i'm saying I and mean, that's not saving anything for me i have to you know if i'm buying a used bike i need to save at least at least minimum like at least four thousand four five thousand dollars man not a couple thousand i might as well go ahead and buy a new one but uh you know that's but the good thing about harley davidson is they do hold their value better than the japanese bikes uh but a lot of people aren't willing to pay that extra money though so i always see harley sitting out in people's front yards with for sale sign they sit there forever man before they sell if they ever sell them so they're not as easy to sell because people want top dollar for them you know and uh that's like i said the main reason why i probably won't buy one is just i'm not willing to pay the extra money uh i, I believe they're well-built machines they're beautiful um they're they're more reliable than ever um but they're just too, it's too expensive for what you get i mean you can uh honestly if i'm gonna pay twenty thousand dollars for a cruiser I, you might as well go ahead and get a ducati xdi s <laughs> that's got 152 horsepower 91 pounds feet of torque and weighs 150 200 pounds less than what harley davidson offers and and it, you can take it through the corners without scraping pegs beautiful bike and just as reliable as a harley davidson so why would i buy a harley davidson man there's a lot of people that are switching from harley's to the x album which i own by the way if you didn't know that uh the only reason i got rid of it is because the parts are so dang expensive maintenance is really expensive and uh 
dealers uh, are far and few in between. And one thing that's really good about Harley Davidson is they have they have dealerships everywhere across the United States. So that's the beauty to with them. But their part prices are also expensive as well, man. But I don't think it's as expensive as uh, a Ducati though. That's all. A Ducati's on another level. Uh, I have a, a profound respect for Ducati though. But anyways, number two is reliability. You know, even though reliability has improved on their newer bikes, it's uh, it's still not at the level that uh, the Japanese bikes are at. You know what I'm saying? When you get a Japanese bike, you know you're getting reliability. I've never had any problems with any Japanese bike I've had, man. Not one. Not my 600 double R. Not this 1000. Uh, not my WR250R Yamaha, not my Yamaha new uh, YZ450FX Supermoto, which is my most fun bike in the garage, by the way. Zero issues. You know what I'm saying? But I have friends and I know people that had problems with, with these Harleys, even the newer ones. You know, in 2018, which is another thing that kind of kept me from, uh, that keeps me from buying a Harley date, this new Harley Davidson, they, they had brake failures <laughs> on the 2018 bikes, man. They had a massive recall in 2018 where people were losing their brakes. One guy, uh, a viewer of mine, left a comment and said he ended up uh, had to run his bike into a tree because he lost his brakes and, and he said Harley Davidson didn't want to help him out, man. Uh, which I was really put off by that. So that, uh, so I, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to argue and say, you know, Harley, they never had any problems with their Harley Davidsons. And then you're going to have, I get loads of other comments, other people saying, man, their Harley Davidson stayed in the shop and was broke down. They left them stranded out there. Uh, but the general consensus is, is they have improved on their reliability. And like I said, I'm not a Harley Davidson hater, guys. I was really wanted to buy one. Uh, but number three, which is a big influence here, is that uh, culture. Harley Davidson culture. Harley Davidson culture promotes squidism, douchebagism, and they are some of the most sensitive <laughs> riders out there. Some of them. Now, this is stereotyping, but honestly, here in Ohio, uh, I'll have to be honest with you, I would say probably about 90% or more of these Harley Davidson riders out here do not wear gear. I see them in flip flops. Y'all yeah, just did some videos not too long ago where I, I went up on a couple of squids and I showed you just how bad it is out here in Ohio. I even did a video back in, way back in 2012 called Ohio Squids. Um, just cause I'm trying to help motivate people to wear gear because to be honest with you, uh, you know, a, a big reason why people don't buy motorcycles because they often hear of people dying on a motorcycle out here. Uh, and that is, a lot of that is because they don't wear helmets. They don't wear gear. And uh, when you don't wear a helmet and you go down and you bust your head, that's it. <laughs> you, had, you, you may die with a helmet, but you're going to have a better chance of surviving with a helmet than without a helmet, man. And, uh, and these people just, they just don't get it. It's all about, and that's where the douchebagism comes in. Too many Harley Davidson riders out here trying to look cool. You know what I'm saying? The dude, I, uh, Squid, I ran up on the other day on the highway. He's out there, he's got on, at least he had on a high-vis do-rag. But these, they, they wear the do-rag, the lokes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got tennis shoes on. I was, like I said, a lot of these dudes out here wearing uh, flip-flops out here, man. <laughs> it's crazy. And, uh, and, and, you know, and that kind of puts a lot of people off when they see that. When they see, because a lot of people like to say these Harley riders are douchebags. Now, don't get me wrong. This, I'm not saying all of them are. I've met most of the, I'll tell you, most of the Har I say all of the Harley Davidson riders I've met out here on the streets are some of the most coolest people out here you ever meet. I even got invited to, to drink a beer with one of one of the Harley Davidson riders. You know, I'm not saying they're not good people, they're not cool or anything. I'm just saying they spend more time trying to look cool on their bike than trying to stay safe out here. And then when they go down, they get hurt real bad. I have a friend whose uh, stepfather's in a nursing home since his 30s because he went down on his Harley without a helmet and he's got severe brain damage. He don't even know who his kids are, man. He 
went in there young in his 30s sitting up in there because he didn't wear a helmet you know and that scares people that scares people they then they say motorcycles are dangerous no it's not motorcycles that are dangerous which i did a video on that proves that motorcycles aren't dangerous i'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video but it's not the motorcycles it's the rider it's you it's you that doesn't wear gear or you ride crazy out here or something it's you it's not the bikes and also a lot of gangs they only i mean they have a requirement some of these gangs out here to, that they only you you have to ride a harley or you can't join their gang and that puts a lot of people off too is some of the gangs out here you know what i'm saying so you combine all of these factors i mentioned these three main factors you know what i'm saying price reliability and culture and that is a big reason why harley davidson sales are declining they're going down and harley davidson is frantically trying to figure out how to uh to get these new riders you know get new people out here on bikes they're doing they're, they got training courses they got all kinds of stuff they're trying to do but they need to start by lowering the price on their bikes man that's what they need to do straight up and uh and also try to put some commercials out there and promote gear maybe that'll help too because if we get you know more of these ohio riders out here and people like these these ohio squids out here that don't wear gear get them to wear gear you'll start to see you know motorcycle injuries and deaths go down and then that will help people come uh you know into motorcycle possibly uh, but you have to make change in order to see change if you continue to do the same thing you're going to get the same result so if you want to reduce the prices on your bikes you're going to have to reduce the overhead get rid of a lot of them douchebags that are in the dealerships um i just i gotta ask uh how are things on the moon what's that how are things on the moon oh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, downsize you got these big gaudy dealerships out there downsize it a bit you know what i'm saying you don't need to have these big gaudy dealerships and all that overhead that's like uh, orange county choppers that he, he that's what he did you know he went crazy with the building and a restaurant and all this stuff. he created all this overhead around a dying breed choppers which who buys choppers out here anymore <laughs> and next thing you know he's got all this money he's paying out and his money his show got canceled and his money's the money's not coming in like it used to and next thing you know he's filed a bankruptcy man you know it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to uh to you know reduce the prices of your product and, and be able to promote you know uh longevity of your product and, and keep your business going so i don't know man I hope to see change guys with Harley Davidson because I truly do have a, a profound respect for a company that's been here for over a century. But anyway, share your opinion below. Let's talk about it guys. Uh, but for those of you guys who want to get my gear like this airbag vest, this keep me safe out here, my helmet, my new carbon fiber helmet with a mirror shield, leather jackets, leather pants, camel pants, gloves, all my stuff. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Gear. Hit thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.